I just finished filming the Mac OS 26 Tahoe video on an officially supported Mac, and um, well, I thought I've got the most recent version of OCLP on here. This probably won't work, but I want to try it. So let's see what happens. Now everyone says not to even try this right now because it won't work. I have this fully backed up, so I'm going to try it anyway and see what happens. Uh, and we will see. Uh, this thing always has a bit of a delay when you hit upgrade now. Uh, let's go back. Come on. Software update. Software update. Software update. So far, so not good. All right, let's get this thing going again and see what happens. Second attempt was the charm. It's starting to download. We'll see what happens. Uh, it's been sitting a pretty long time now. It's still saying installing update. I don't know if that's promising or not promising. We'll let it sit a bit longer. I think the system spat it out. It went back to checking for updates. So, um, hmm. I've got another idea. Mr. Macintosh has a direct link to it, which is awesome considering that I can't even find the direct link and I'm a developer. So, yeah. Well, let's see what happens when we hit, click on Mac OS Beta Install. A whole lot of nothing. Well, it's, it's still open. I'll give it a minute. It took about two minutes to pop up here. Let's click Continue here. I agree with the unavailable agreement on there, continue, password, it's installing, we'll see what happens after it's done installing, um, let's find out what happens, I don't know what that means, continue installing, Let's just restart it. Eh? 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 It's... It's trying! Oh, uh, <laughs> I don't believe that. I think it actually worked. Well, it boots up. Um... The mouse no longer works. That's not a good sign. All right, let's try it for the boot menu. See if it fixes everything. Well, it's not particularly fast in any way, shape, or form. Um. Yeah, let's just wait. That's still a good sign. That isn't. There's no USB support, but it will boot. That's a good sign. So, I would still call that a success, because that proves that it will run on these systems. We just got to figure out all the other problems, like um, driver support. Um, it seems to be a, a pretty big problem there. But hey, it, it booted it. That's awesome. I plugged my Thunderbolt 3 dock into it with an adapter. And look at this. Now we have mouse support. That's a better sign. Let's try to get this to work again. All right, we're back to this screen now. Let's see what happens when we click open. Oh. So the setup screen doesn't quite work, but um, I think that's the reason why it's all black. But we did just see the uh, settings app load up for a brief second there. So I can verify that it will boot 
on a non-supported Mac. It just doesn't really work right now. I'm going to try to get something to load up on here, but um, I mean, we've proved the proof of concept here. Holy crap, I was just getting ready to shut it off. You're kidding me. It's it's very slow, but it it it, it, it works. Uh, there's like no USB support, no Wi-Fi, no nothing, but it booted and it's actually working. <laughs> this is awesome. So yeah, that was the very unexpected end result. There, it actually works, and I I, I can't believe it. Um. So, will OCOP support Mac OS 26? More than likely, because it can actually boot it. Um, it doesn't need a T2. As proof, it works. Um, I mean, it's kind of a stretch to say it works, considering I had to use this to actually use it. But, uh, it still works. It booted up, it loaded, it's extremely slow, and I didn't think it was going to actually fully boot. Uh, but then again, there's no drivers on it, so it's just running. And not very well, but it's running. Which is proof that, uh, hey, we're going to be seeing some awesome updates with OCLP, I think. Because if the regular one that works with Sequoia will allow it to boot... That's proof that it will eventually work. Uh, right now, I would not recommend updating uh, or trying the beta if you're running OCLP because it's not going to work. This is a totally useless system now. Uh, it runs it, but uh, with no internet, no acceleration, no USB, it's, it's kind of a paperweight. Uh, but a neat paperweight because it actually works. So I'm going to restore this back to um, Sequoia, but um, this was a neat proof of concept here. There's no tricks or anything here. This is actually running the way it's supposed to. Not well, but it's running. <laughs> we can see it's got no acceleration, so it's got weird coloring and all this other stuff. But believe it or not, it's fairly quick for not having acceleration. Um, well, okay, it's, it's, it works, sort of, um, anything that's transparent shows up, um, completely transparent, that's different, uh, let's try the apps again, yeah, uh, can't really read it. Uh, but it does work, sort of. It's just, it's neat that it's doing it. I can't believe it's actually doing it. As we can see here, it just, it works. I mean, it's not useful, but it works. It's awesome. So yeah, two quick videos in the same night. Uh, and I'll tell you what, you can't get more exciting than this. I can't believe this actually works. Um, I mean, it's still not useful, but hey, it works. It runs it. I, I, I'm speechless. This is amazing that uh, something so advanced and so hard to actually make work, uh, at least according to Apple, um, that you had to drop the other T2 Max that actually could probably run it fine. This doesn't have a T2 in it. This is a fourth generation Intel processor. It's running it. You know? And they cut off the eighth generations. Why? It's the last Intel supported OS. Why couldn't you support my Mac Mini? Anyway. So yeah, that's the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sure you're just as shocked as I am that this actually worked. Wow. <laughs> but yeah.
That's the end of today's video. Don't forget I have a Patreon and uh, memberships. You know how to join all that stuff. Uh, links will be available and all that other crap. And also don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, this has been a Rocky Mods video.